doggy. <laughs> oh, you're such a good boy, Doug. Ready for bed? You want a snack first, don't you? <laughs> yes, that's a yes. Another one? Another one, buddy? Okay. But this time, try to actually chew it. Here it comes. <laughs> Whoa. Is that a dinosaur? <laughs> Bedtime. We'll have to wait. Dino Dan! an office under my bed. Come on, little dino. It's okay. Doug, we have to be quiet, Doug. I'm not sure what we're dealing with, but it's definitely a dinosaur. I think this is the one I've been seeing around the house lately. Comps an office. Which one do you think it is, Doug? Doug? Hmm. I'm not sure either. We're gonna need a better look. How are we gonna get it out from under there? Oh, perfect. Good night, Track. Good night, Mom. Dan, what, what are you do? You know what, Dan, it's time for bed. I can't go to sleep when there's a dinosaur under my bed. Oh, Dan, I seriously doubt Mom, there's be anything careful. Be careful. Oh! My shoe! Doug, do you know how many shoes of mine have gone missing this week? OK, look at me when I'm talking to you. Don't even try and look cute, you. Can I see that, Mom? Hmm. Pointy teeth. Mom, look. These bite marks belong to a calm synothus. Don't they look the same? They look similar. Exactly. So the bites on the shoes are calm synothus bites. Not dog bites. Calm synothus is stealing your shoes. I wonder why. OK, Dan, there are no calm nasty monsters under your bed. Calm synothus. It's not a monster, Mom. It's a really small meat-eating dinosaur. And I hope it's under my bed. OK. Well, your research is going to have to wait till tomorrow, because it's bedtime. Mom, Mom, Mom. It's scientifically important that I stay up. Science. OK, five minutes. That's it. Fifteen. Ten. And you brush your teeth. I've already brushed my teeth. This morning. OK, deal. I'll do it. No fair! OK, look what you've started. OK, track 10 minutes and then bed. Hey, you. OK, Doug, if we want to prove that the Compson office is one of the smallest known dinosaurs, we're going to need to measure its length and its weight. It's not going to be easy. We're going to have to be really quiet. Here I go. He's running away! Hold on, Doug! I'm coming! I just have to get ready first. What are you doing? What does it look like? Hmm. Dress up? Uh, Trek, you have so much to learn about dinosaur research. 
I'm, I'm trying to measure a Compton office. One of the smallest known dinosaurs. How'd you know that? I can hear through your wall. Oh. So, do you want to help me find it? Yeah! But first, we're going to need to get you some professional gear. Come on. I can't really see. I think he's trying to eat Mom's shoes. I have to get closer to get a proper measurement. Okay. Trek, if he starts running towards you, try and catch him. Here I go. Time to measure how long you are. You're just over half a meter long. Crazy small for a dino. <gasps> Get ready, Shrek! Ah! What are you guys doing? <gasps> My shoe! Dougie, where is my other shoe? Hmm? Mom, I can explain. You may not believe me. Try me. The Compton office is a little more than half a meter long. Now, I just have to figure out a way to weigh it. You need to figure out more than that, Dan. Like how to find my other shoe. Maybe the Compton ate it. No, Trek, he didn't eat it. He just took it along with old Mom's other shoes. Maybe he's building a nest. A shoe nest? It's the most likely explanation. Well, I think Dougie is the most likely explanation, and he'll be sleeping in the crate tonight. You two have five minutes to lights out. Go. You. Poor Dougie. He gave us freedom for science. But we can save him. We just got to figure out where the Compton office is taking all of Mom's shoes. How are we going to do that? Watch and learn. If I use one of Doug's treats as bait, we lure the compy onto the scale. Compy will stand on the scale, get Mum's makeup all over its feet, and then we'll be able to follow its tracks back to its nest. Brilliant if I do say so myself. Now, you got to distract Mom if we're going to help Doug. Anything for Dougie. Tick-tock, boys. You have three minutes. Mommy, can you read me a story? Sure thing, Trekkie. Which one? Maybe one with dinosaurs in it. We wait. And wait. Come on, eat the tree. Whoa, the Compton Office weighs 500 grams. Doug's like. 30 times that. You are one of the smallest dinos. Now time to prove Doug's not stealing Mom's shoes. <sighs> Looks like my plan worked. must be in the cupboard.
found your missing shoes. Is that my makeup? Thanks for finding my shoes, Dan. And sorry for doubting you, Doug, but I am still kind of curious how my shoes got there in the first place. <laughs> Compton office is pretty clever. Yeah, well, that's enough dinosaur research for tonight, okay? Don't let the dinosaur bed bugs bite. Well, there were prehistoric insects, but they weren't dinosaurs. They were, yeah. okay. Good night, Mom. Thanks for the extra stay up. Nighty night. Mwah. Good night, Doug. Thank <laughs> you.